God Hits. Hey everyone, it's Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel, and you are on the second day of the All It Takes Is One Move From God, Just One series. And in this quick four-part series, y'all, I'm just breaking down to you what it's like for God to do one move. Now, mind you, we know he can do all things, anything he wants to do in the blink of an eye, but this is about helping to develop your faith and understand that God is not Santa Claus. We can be super frustrated with him and we want him to we want him to give us harvest uh, blessings, but we're expecting a harvest when it's the time to plant the seed. And we can get super frustrated and aggravated when we don't realize that God has everything done in his time. And sometimes he does things for us when we least expect it. Sometimes he does it in the form of a blessing, a blessing and a miracle. It just depends on what your situation requires. But that one move, always know that one move will always come from God. But in our mindset sometimes, it's just letting it pop up out of the sky and not really understanding how sometimes when we have to wait for God to be like, Lord, I just need you to do one move, just one thing to change my life. All it takes is one person to walk in here. All it takes is one person to sign me up. All it takes is whatever these things, it could just take one thing. But you know what? It takes a series of things that you have to do in order for that to happen. If you have built a business and you just need one person to walk into the door of that business or you need one person to go online and buy something for you, one person to shoot you an email, do you want to know what is going on in the heavenlies? Before God can do that one big move before that person walks in the door, they're going to go ahead and look at you and qualify you and say, you know what? This person, they've set it up. They took out all their business stuff. They have all their products, their services. They have everything decent and in order. I can come in and knock that one move out and bring that person. So this whole series is about not being so caught up on that one big thing happening, but knowing that there's some things that you have to do before that one move from God happens. Now, if you're curious, all it takes is one move from God, just one, uh, just one. It's trademarked by me and my brand, Jazzy Brand. It's a meme that I came up with in 2017. It went viral on Instagram. I've since, you know, trademarked it, and it's mine, and I, I do things centered around it. I have uh, gifts, products, services around it. I have merchandise, journals, the whole thing. Of course, you can hit the link in my bio. You can get all of those things and housekeeping. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend. If you feel like it's a value. Now, y'all, this series, each episode is roughly about five minutes. We're already two and a half minutes in, so let's knock it out. Today, guys, the topic is become what you believe. And I take that from Matthew chapter 9, verse 29. And it reads, then he touched their eyes and said, because of your faith, it will happen. He touched their eyes and said, become what you believe. Another way. Then he touched their eyes saying, let it be done for you according to your faith. One move from God has to do with you already having the faith to get to the space of needing God to do that one thing. Now, let me break that down to you. Very similar to what I just said moments ago. This is about you understanding your role in this. Because God is so incredible, y'all. He can do just one thing out of the blue that we don't see coming. But I can guarantee you, y'all, a lot of times when we're waiting on that one move from God, there's some things God requires of us, and we have got to tap into that, y'all. We got to tap into that. We can't just keep looking for pie in the sky, and we, 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 we want the blessings, but we don't want the things that come before the blessing gets there. Or we want um, we want to eat, but we don't want to work. Come on, let's come on now. Catch me. Like my cousin Faith said, come on, somebody. Hello, somebody. Like, listen, I need you to catch that part. Because, again, if you don't, you're going to get frustrated, mad at God. He, I need this. He's not doing that. But he's like, hold on. Like, make sure you're connected to me and you just don't have your hand out. Like, you're just begging and taking and taking. No, I want you to get things from me. I want you to be who you are. But I also want you to understand that I'm so much bigger than me giving you things. Whew, catch that. I'm so much bigger than me giving you things. 
catch that and sit with it for whoever needs it. I got to sit with that one. Woo. So become what you believe. Cause if you believe by faith that that one move you're waiting for, God is going to do it. Then you're going to keep doing the things day to day that it requires so that when he does give you that one move, you are ready to receive it. You are not going to miss it. It will not escape you and it will become you. Okay. And each day with this, y'all, I'm breaking down the acronym MOVE, M-O-V-E. Yesterday, maybe not yesterday, but the last episode, because I'm not sure what order I'm going to put these in. But the first one was for meditation, and I gave you a scripture in Joshua. But today, we are going to be right there in Deuteronomy, and the word is observe. Here is what it reads, Deuteronomy 12:32. It says, whatever I command you, be careful to observe it. You shall not add to it or take away from it. Y'all, whenever we are waiting on God to do something for us, make sure while you're meditating and you, you, you get a real good understanding of keeping the book of the law on your lips and you're looking from the left, you're not looking from the left and to the right, observe. Pay attention to what the Holy Spirit is telling you to do. Observation will be your friend when you are waiting on that one move. Observe. And this is why I keep leading you back to the word of God, because you have to observe how God moves. You have to know God's character when you're waiting. Because if you don't know God's character when you're waiting on that one big move, you are going to reduce him to making a list and checking it twice. Y'all need to catch that. Okay? And it will help us to check our attitudes and our mindsets when it comes to waiting on God to do the thing we are calling on him and waiting on him to do because we have done the work and we have positioned ourselves properly right so that's our word for today make sure you go back and check episode one and that was called here and no today was become what you believe the next episode will be such a time as this and the fourth and final one will be stand still guys make sure you go to my website it's i'm wired to inspire.com i thank you all so much again one more time like share and subscribe and remember I am Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I am wired to inspire, and I hope you are too. Oh, (laughs) and just in case you forget, all it takes is one move from God. Roll God Hits.